So I said in the previous one that I was considering something like Pre-Marino over the Basque Legion because it would help against Champau. This also helps against Champau because it resists both Dark and Ice. And I'm super used to substitute Urshifu. So I'm testing this now. But also the addition is that I've got Poison Jab over Ice Spinner. This, this should be pretty sweet at beating Overponds, right? Because like I've, I've always been using this Urshifu. I had close combat here to start off with um, back in Toronto. Then it was Ice Spinner for Gdansk. And then I haven't used this Urshifu for a little while. Not sure why. It's still brilliant. But the adaptation is because Ogapon is becoming so popular. The Poison Jab with the Terra Poison defensively is amazing as well. But then you get offensively with Poison Jab so you can still hit it. So that's the theory behind this. I've had to reduce the, um, the bulk on the Urshifu a little bit because... Uh, this is supposed to be a Chen Pao counter, and I don't have Terra Water anymore, so I can't do that and KO a Chen Pao through Focus Ash. Whereas, um, if I have this much Adamant 196, then I do actually KO them um, through Focus Ash. So, uh, that is the idea behind this now. So, hopefully this will help against Chen Pao teams. This is not a Chen Pao team. Yeah, let's see a Jackpot one. Um, don't know if it's speed or special attack yet on the walking wake. Just going with Porygon seems like it would be reasonable, because it's not an eruption tall coal. I should be able to get away with just Porygon 2, and even if it is tall coal, I can still zap trick room. Um, the only real thing that hits the Heatran is the... Yeah, it's not high horsepower, is the... Walking wake. So if I deal with that, then I'm sorted. So I'm going to leave with Iron Hands, Paragon 2. I will bring Heatran in the back. And also... Urshifu's not good here. Landorus and Hydrapple are both reasonable. What's the Fridraf? Okay, it's just the Throat Spray one. I'm going to bring Hydrapple. Mm-hmm. Reasonable. So I should just be able to go Heatran and Terra Blast the Torkoal, right? I would assume that they're going for Choice Specs, Try and Care. Also, I'm a Terra Fairy on the Porygon 2 now, just testing that. Um, I don't think Terra Grass is worth it so that I would survive the um, Dazzling Gleam slash Moon Blast. Can easily just switch into Heatran here. That is probably worth it. Might be an idea to recover as well. I'm going to do that because I'm definitely taking damage with Porygon. Yeah, there's the Terra Fairy helping hand. Does that KO Porygon? Well, it's not going to KO the Heatran. Um, well, I said I was definitely taking damage there and I was wrong. But I can still Magma Storm here, and now that the special attack drop has happened, I won't be able to KO the um, Fluttermane with Ice Beam and Magma. Maybe. I might. Yeah, I, I will double into the Fluttermane. This is fine. If it's just Body Press into the Heatran, that'll do a chunk. But yeah, that, that was annoying. Um, that was 90% accurate. There's the body press. I will now attempt to Earth Power here and Terra Blast the Torkoal. Okay, I'm going to get the Earth Power. That's reasonable. I get the KO because of the crit. I think that's worse. Because now the Fluttermane just comes back in and does massive damage. But I can fake it out, actually, no, so I can sacrifice the Porygon 2 here. I will attempt to Trick Room and not be able to, but if I do Trick Room, then I win. I won't be able to, because this is going to be a Flare Blitz game. What? Uh, yeah, EVO Light was gone, so that didn't even matter. But now... Um, what's the way to do it? Iron Hands here... Knockoff would KO me, but it won't if I Terra Fairy, and I think I'm forced into that. And if they switch out the Fluttermane, fair enough. 
Um, I had to play as if they weren't going to. At least I learned that it's speed boost on the walk and wake. And they parting shot it, so that was a completely wasted terror. That's annoying. I do not see a way back into this game. I shall forfeit, so I do not reveal the hydrapple. Okay. Obviously, the correct thing to do based on turn one, or in game one, was to go for fake out into the fluttermane. Now that would be quite risky to go for on this one. Leading with Heatran is pretty reasonable here. I could lead with Hydrapple Heatran and just Terra Poison the Hydrapple. That seems like it would be okay. I'll have Paragon 2 and Iron Hands in the back. So this is fine. I can double protect here very safely. <coughs> and if they lock in Shadow Ball, I don't need to Terra. And if they go for Fairy, then I just Terra Poison the Hydrapple. I'm still waiting for the first, first person to parting shot themselves. To get out of the Magma Storm Yawn, that is. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no punish to just double protect here. And if they switch out the Flutter Main, then uh, Hydrapple doesn't need to Terror again. Unless it's into Walking Wake. Then it becomes a little bit more awkward. Well, it's a little bit more awkward now, isn't it? Um, so which one do they Hydro Steam? One would assume they are switching to Torkoal and Hydro Steaming. Or if it's Draco, then they're weak now. Hmm. I'm going to assume they're going after the Heatran here. So I'm going to do this and be brave. And I was wrong. That's unfortunate. But at least they're trapped in doing not much damage. And I can get Trick Room up here. So if they go into Flutter Main, I'll still be able to get Trick Room. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's Porygon. They can't switch there. So I should be able to go for Protect and Trick Room. But because I can go for Protect Trick Room, I'm going to be brave and just attack. Because they're going to double the Porygon. That's my logic anyway. This has not been so ideal of a start for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're not going to KO. So I've got my Magma Storm, and they're both trapped here now as well, which is very sweet. I can go for Terra Blast into the Flutter Main if I want to. Um, I probably should double it. Right? Because Recover won't give me a net gain. A heat wave and a terror blast will KO the flutter main, right? Mm, maybe not. No, I think I'd still to still recover here first. And Straco into the fairy type was a little bit odd, but that's fine. So now I get a double KO here, right? So heat wave did twenty two percent to flutter main, so it should KO, especially if the terror blast goes first and just KOs the walking wake. So, that should be reasonable to go for. It does connect. That wasn't a zoom lens one, but that's fine. Uh, now, if it's Incineron Torkoal, which it is, Heatran is still amazing here. So, actually, this is very reasonable now. Right way of doing it. I surely have a way to win for sure. I'm gonna protect here and just recover, stall out trick room. 
So if you use their terror, I just need to be able to close combat B. Yeah, this is, might be a bit passive, but yeah, there's the overheat. So now that's a lot weaker. Get the recover, and if it's flare, but it's recoil, fair enough. Yep, there was the knockoff. That's fine. Again, I'll switch to iron hands, get rid of the drops, and terror blast the Torkoal, because I'll just close combat the Incineroar at some point next turn. Big damage. That was reasonable. And yeah, the knockoff is useless against the booster energy. It is close combat in here. I could switch. Yeah, I could. Well, like I'm pretty sure the game was over. I don't think Flare Blitz in the Sun would KO me, but critical hit would have done. So that's a bit more reasonable. Actually looked a bit shaky at the start, but then they lost too much momentum. Seems like Landorus is reasonable. Because it does well against everything except for the Walking Wake. It's worth dropping Hydrapple for that. Because Heatran is still really good here. I go Heatran Porygon 2. And then Lander Assign Hands in the back. Mm hmm. This is still fine. So it's got to be Fake Out and Moonblast the Porygon 2, right? Like I'll attempt to Trick Room, and if they don't fake out, then I get Trick Room. So this would be fine. They parting shot straight away, that's fine. That's decent. I'll take the chip on the Walking Wake for sure. And again, they cannot KO me. There's nothing stopping Trick Room and Protect here. If they double the Porygon, good for you. You don't KO me. I'd be very surprised if I got KO'd to Draco into Flare Blitz. As long as I get Trick Room up, I should be all good. Oh, they did just Hydra Steam there. That's good. It was just parting shot. Like, again, I don't particularly care about that. And they brought Frogarath as their last one. Okay, so now I might need to start caring about it. So. I'm going to assume they want to reverse Trick Room here. So we're still Terra Ferrying. Because I do want to try and conserve it for the Landorus. But, it, it, but if the Walking Wake's KO'd, I don't need Terra. So I can stomp attention on the rest of the team. So, therefore, I will Terra Fairy here. And... I will double the Fridge Graph, expecting a Protect. That one was not the one I prote uh, that protected. Okay, fine. Um... Well then, I guess I will still claim the KO on the Walking Wake because they're reluctant to protect and free up my Landorus. Okay, that's decent. Yep, that's good. And the crit means the Earth Power goes into the Incineroar, so I will absolutely take it. That's good. A special Defense Drop as well to boot. Decent. doing this because I th feel like I'm in a winning position here because I can earth power here and 
and switch to Landorus, I think. It was always going to be fake out there, but I didn't want the weakened Porygon 2. There's the Throat Spray. However, now I can go for... Would Psychic KO the Landorus based on that damage? That's going to be close. So I will Earth Power and also Stomping Tantrum, which covers the hard switch to Fluttermane if Landorus is able to survive a Psychic. They didn't hard switch. And it is able to survive. And that's a critical hit. That's a decent critical hit. Because now I think I definitely win. Because I can protect here and try and Stomping Tantrum. And then I can go into Porygon 2, which hasn't had its EBO like knocked off. I can go for Magmus. Nope, Heat Wave is guaranteed. And Trick Room. Yep, we do gotta love the crits. That was pretty sweet. We will take it. And then Heavy Slam and Terra Blast for the win. Nice. Could I have won if I didn't get that critical hit? I'm just gonna wait until I go through and then just replay. So at this point, so here that was the critical hit. Because Bulk is clutch, wouldn't have KO'd, but would have done at least 66%. Then, I can still protect Heatran and sack the Landorus. Because they do just Dazzling Gleam. And then I still have to go to Porygon 2. We saw that the Dazzling Gleam... Like, you have to Dazzling Gleam, otherwise I Magma Storm. And... Hmm. Depends if they Terra Fairy or not. No, because no, no, I wouldn't be able to fake them out. So... I would assume that that was necessary, that critical hit. Like, that feels like a bad matchup anyway, and if, you, if you're that guy, like, you can see in the bottom right on, on Showdown, like, don't bother being that guy. It achieves nothing. Um, yeah, I, th I think I did need the luck there, but we'll take it. But yeah, that, that, that seems like a hard matchup. It's not, like, a I don't think it's a bad matchup. I think that I just have to actually play well to win that. Slash get lucky. Hopefully I get lucky in the UIC. This is a team that I should be able to beat. Like, this is the kind of team that I build my teams to beat. That is an interesting Fluttermane. That's going to be annoying. That taunt might be... A, like, taunt tends to be annoying, on, like, for this team. So. But they don't have Shadow Ball, so... Heatran is a lot better against it. Heatran is very good here. Landorus is still really good. Uh, it's not Rocky Helmet, so I could justify going with Urshifu. Terra Poison Urshifu is actually pretty decent here. I don't have anything properly for it. Do I want the Porygon 2? Not particularly. Iron Hands is still decent. No, I think I'm going to go Iron Hands first. Which one do they fake out here? It should be fake out Heatran and Acrobatics, the Hydrapple, right? Do I just sack the Hydrapple to try and get a Yonks? I want to save the Terra for the Landorus. No? Are they Dragon Dancing? They are. Okay, I'll take it. Because I get the Magma Storm now, so that's decent. I could double protect here, but they could Dragon Dance again. I'm going to immediately switch to Landorus. And I will Magma Storm the Incineral. That's good. Get the Intimidate, so that's decent. Are they going to commit the Terror already? Yep, they didn't. That's good. So that's only half damage. I say only. That's still enough to KO. 
but they are now both trapped. It does have Volt Switch, though, so... Right. I'm going to go Hydrapple and Protect, assuming I lose the Hydrapple, but I may not. I won't, because it was knockoff. I'm just drain punch, so that's fine. And I can go back to Landorus. And I think this is where I Terra Fairy. Although, if they've got the Flutamine waiting in the back, that makes me a lot worse against it. So no, I will not do that. Because I'm going to live with the Heatran. And this is hopefully going to be enough to KO the Roaring Moon with the Magna Storm chip. It's not quite, but it will get it next turn. That was reasonable damage. But once again, I will sacrifice the Hydrapple. You should knock off the Acrobatic the Hydrapple and Volt Switch yourself. That is what you should do. Please do it. Come on, someone do it. Please do it. Oh, come on, Volt Switch yourself. Right, um, Landra's here, there's the Fluttermane, yeah, so uh, that means I can Earth Power KO the Iron Hands. I am assuming it KOs, I would hope it does. Be annoying if it doesn't. Yeah, I think I've got my Landra's a bit too low here. At least the Iron Hands isn't doing much. It didn't KO, but it will. It won't with the Magma Storm because they Volt Switch. Okay, that's not ideal. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to have lost too much here. I think. We'll attempt a Heavy Slam. And attempt to Magma Storm. They ter do Terra Fairy. That's fine. That is a KO. But they are trapped now. And not enough. So... I think this is still doable. This is still doable, actually, because I can Terra Fairy after I've KO'd the Fluttermane. And then I still theoretically beat the Incineroar. Right? Oh, I can't protect anymore that. That's solid. That was a good play. Um, but he try and still can do it. It still can. So I can't protect anymore. So which one do they fake out with? Which one would do the most? It's going to be like knockoff, isn't it? This is where I Terra Fairy now. No, they wild charge, don't they? They didn't wild charge. Okay. So it's still doable. Doesn't look like it's that doable anymore. But we will still Magma Storm. Yeah, it's not going to do it, is it? I did get the double. That's cool. But then they, yeah, just not enough. That's annoying. Just lost too many resources there. That was very close. If I'd have brought something else instead of the um, Iron Hands. Heatran would have done it. But Heatran is still very good there. So I'm going to leave with Landorus and Heatran this time to get the Intimidate straight away. And I'll bring Urshifu because if it would have been the Poison Urshifu, I'd have, I'd have still won. Um, and do I still bring Hydrapple? Not sure about that one. I'm going to bring Iron Hands instead of it. Okay, this is this is decent. So Yeah, this is a significantly better lead for me. <coughs> um I think I do just focus debt fire on on this, right? Because I can Terra Poison my... Well, this is going to be a KO, isn't it? Okay. Should have thought about that being enough.
Oh, because they still got... I, I, yeah, I had in my head they were going to get the speed boost, and I didn't even look that they still got the attack boost. So they're the max attack one. That's why they were able to KO. Like, in my head, that this lead lander couldn't be KO'd because they were going to get the speed boost, but clearly that was not the case. Right, here's Urshifu. I guess I have to Terra Poison. Mm -hmm, that's not much. That is much, but still reasonable. Are they going to realize they can switch out the Fluttermane? Because I definitely double protect here, because Roaring Moon is KO'd. Do they realize? They don't realize. That's good. Because Fluttermane's a ghost. Ghosts can switch out of any kind of trap. It's amusing they Dragon Dance. That was completely pointless. Um, switch here. Magnus on the Iron Hands, I think. Because I should be living with the Iron Hands. I guess not. So that is quite unfortunate. Now, does Heat Wave into Surging Strikes KO of this Iron Hands? I think it does. Okay, that was solid. That's annoying that I lose this one. Unless I crit the Earth Power. But even then, it won't do it. So, um, yeah, that's quite annoying. Because that's the kind of team I should easily beat. So I'm not sure what went wrong there. And that seemed like I was in... No, I know, I know what went wrong. I got crit on the Iron Hands. But does that KO? I need to double check that. So I'm not assault best. Let's go just sash and then pixie plate. That's annoying my Urshifu didn't survive that either. I'm hoping that's not because of the drop in bulk. Um, so what is it? Moonblast here? Yeah, like not a KO. Oh, but that's assault best. Um, but pixie plate runs bulk. So no one would be on its max. So like reasonably, I had a chance to live based on investment, but that was probably enough to KO me regardless, so I'm not going to worry about that one. But what about the Urshifu? What is it now? I think it's that, yeah. Um, and what, 140 is that? Yeah, the crit. The, um, not crit. Um, Terra. Here, let's go fairy. Um, uh, could have mattered again, but depends on investment. If they're not that, if they were like modest 36, which is like one of the normal ones, I think, for Pixie Plate, then I should have lived. So, but I didn't. So they must have been uh, reasonably invested. Oh well, that's annoying because that's the kind of team that I should have a good matchup against. And I think I have a good matchup, but just something went wrong. Right, 2-2-2, two, 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 except it's not quite 2-2-2, two, two, two. it's 2-2, two, two. it's 2-3-1, it looks like. Um, what's to do against this? It's the Rocky Helmet one. Heatran's really good here. And is it, it's unaware, okay, cool. Uh, so what's wrong with just Iron Hands, Porygon 2, then Heatran and... Urshifu's decent. Hydrapple is decent. I'm going to go with Hydrapple. What do they do to stop this? They don't. Um, I 
I guess, outrage into the Porygon 2, so maybe I should commit my Terra just so that they can't KO me. What is it? Fairy, yeah. Okay, Wild Charge. I don't want to Terra Fairy. Is Outrage going to get me? Oh, it went for the Iron Hands, but I KO myself, which is good. Because now that means I've got the guaranteed Hydrapple Fickle Beam into here. And they are not Terra Ghosts, so Terra Blast is optimal. Big damn. What? Hydrapple? What? What are you doing? How could you do such a thing? Um, now they can Sucker Punch my Porygon too. So I guess I recover. How did that not KO? Oh, that's Life or Fickle Beam. They didn't Sucker Punch. What was that? That was odd. Need to do that calc afterwards, but here's the Terra Fairy here and the Terra Blast, because this should be the Don Lozo's um, Tatsugiri switch in. But I guess while I'm waiting, like, what? Like, uh, what's it? Hydrapple, Dragonite, Fickle Beam with Life Orb. Is my little 236 instead of 25? Okay, so it is a roll. That's good to know. Now do they switch into Satsugiri? Get a Mammoth Storm recover, and they do switch. Okay, cool. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get up a second Trick Room. It does seem like I am able to, yes. Uh, would Wave Crash KO my Heatran... Did I miss the Magma Storm? Oh, I missed the Magma Storm, so I do need to just attack here. But I'm Clutch. Protect and recover. They can't KO me in one. If Heatran can survive, so can Porygon. It was just Earthquake, that's fine. Uh, so then Earth Power and Special Attack boost. It doesn't matter, actually. No, this won't KO, will it? No, it won't. Uh, that's annoying. So I misplayed there by going for Recover on the Porygon 2. Definitely protect the Chen Pao. If you don't, that's a choke. Right? So do I need to play for the choke? Into the misses. I need to play for the choke, I think. As far as I can see. Because then they would just be able to Sacred Sword and Draco otherwise. Okay, they didn't choke. And regardless, the Draco KOs. So, not ideal. So that came down to Hydrapple not being strong enough there. It's not the best. But I still think I leave with this. Do still think I want the Heatran. I still think I want the Hydrapple. I'll still wild charge here. Because if Iron Hand survives, so does so does Porygon. Iron Hands didn't survive. Did it last time? Am I making it up that it survived last time? No, it did. So they're just getting the the rolls for them here. However, I can just Ice Beam KO them now, and this is definitely a KO, like for sure. I definitely want to Terra this. So I'll just KO the the Dragonite. Like there's no way that this is surviving. Oh, they just attack. That's good. Well, that's not good. And 
unfortunate. So these are just double protects to that trick room. Could I be cheeky and get the Hydra Apple switch in? Do I need to? I'm not sure I need to. Let's just roll the dice again, I guess. Okay, that's good, because Champau is KO'd now. Still okay damage. They did wave crash, so I'll take it. Yeah, I should I should be okay with this one, right? Have they terrored? They haven't terrored. They didn't terror. Okay. Oh no, they did stellar terror, so then I was sorted. Yeah. Hydrapple has redeemed itself. So that's good. So, Outrage is a roll on Iron Hands, which is quite annoying. So... I think it is worth just faking out the Dondozo this time. Or they just immediately would leave with the Chen Pao. That's fine as well, because now I can go for fake out into the Chen Pao and it's just Trick Room, right? And what is the punish to that? If they lock into Outrage once again, then I should be still all right. <coughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, that's reasonable. That got rid of their... Um... Yeah, that was a good play. That was solid. Uh, however, now I can go for Heatran... Heatwave is a KO into the Chempow. Do I consider Terra Fairy on the Porygon 2 just to be immune? Because if I don't, and they protect the Chempow, and they outrage the Porygon 2 rather than the Heatran, I would be in range of the... Yeah, I think, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it should be worth it. Because they were always protecting there. But that was good damage. Into the Paragon, please. Well, that's annoying that I tear it. Uh, I'm not in Sucker Punch range. There's no way that I'm in Sucker Punch range. So I will Heat Wave and Terra Blast the Champ out here. Because then that will get some good damage on the Dondozo as well. That is very good damage on the Dondozo. And I can just go for Heat Wave and Terra Blast here as well. They didn't double protect. Do they underspeed my Heatran? They don't. Game over then. Running wind speed on Heatran comes into play. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. Redeemed myself after the last couple. Because I had the first two in a row losses, but redeemed against the Dondozo. <laughs> 